So Aisha radiallahu anha, she would teach, and her closest students were those who were uh, close to her from uh, her relatives, and she would teach in her own home. So the, the house where the Prophet is buried in Medina, that was her house, and she would teach from there, but she would have like a hijab, like a sitar, a curtain, a veil. And then they would sit on the opposite side, and she would teach them like this. So this was how she would teach. Would it be permissible for a woman to teach uh, men? I think in this, the environment in those days would, was different to the environment today. And I think, you know, there's many factors that we have to, to, to take into consideration. Yeah, again, there's different factors that we have to take into consideration. Um, what's being taught, who is, who is teaching, uh, who is being taught. You know, if it's an elderly woman with children, that's a different situation. If it's a young woman, okay, who's not married, teaching other young men, you know, would that be permissible? Uh, in what situations could that, be not, could that not be permissible? I'm throwing these things out there. Why? Because it's more nuanced than, 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 than a simple... It depends, it's, yeah, it's, it's about what situation uh, we're talking about. It's about age, it's about knowledge, it's about how important that knowledge is, it's about who's being taught, it's about where they're being taught, it's about how they're being taught. So it all depends, you know, this, it's on a, it has to be done on a case-by-case -case basis. In some situations, it may be wajib. For example, if a woman is teaching men who have no idea about anything with regards to Islam. They don't know how to pray, for example. There's no one else to teach them. And they're the only men in, this, in the community, for example. Not just a scenario. In that case, it may be wajib for her to teach because there's nobody else. Literally, there's nobody else. But even then, there would be measures that we have to take, that we have to be you know, in place. In other cases, it might be haram. Isn't it? So if she's you know, somebody who's there and there's many other people who are able to teach those men and it's not a subject which is appropriate for her to teach, for example, okay, maybe to do with fiqh of intimacy or something, and there's men there, then obviously it wouldn't make sense. So, you know, there's so many scenarios that we can consider. It's on a case-by-case -case basis, so it depends on the specific situation and circumstance.